So you want to add a map to Minecraft 1.20.2. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, first things first, you're going to need a map. If you've already got one, that's awesome. We're going to show you how to install that map. It's the same as if you were to download one. But guess what? We have this in the description down below, which is a complete list of amazing maps for Minecraft. Any 1.20 map generally should work in 1.20.2, so don't be alarmed if a map is a bit older. However, if you're getting a map, let's say from 1.19, that guarantee doesn't necessarily apply. Let's go ahead and grab the Monster Hunter here. We'll also scroll down and grab a part our core map floating biomes is one of my favorites and uh, we'll just go with those two for now so let's go ahead and close out of this because we've opened both of these in a new tab now once we're on these maps what we want to do is scroll down and download them now every map's a bit different with downloading sometimes they're on a website called curse wars let's actually go ahead and grab a 1.19 map this one right here radiant city because i know it's on curse wars but nonetheless to download a map generally you'll scroll down and click download map if it's on minecraftmaps.com and the map will begin downloading right away if it's on curse wars what you want to do is click on files up here at the top and then it actually looks like this map has updated and we have 1.20.2 there so let's go ahead and click the three buttons here and click download file on the 1.20.2 version while this is downloading how much from our company simple game hosting what if you want to play a minecraft map with your friends well, that's where Simple Game Hosting comes in. You can easily add any custom map you want to your server and play that map with your friends all seamlessly, all quickly, and all easily. On top of that, if you want to add mods, mod packs, plugins to your server, you can do all of that as well. And if you have any issues along the way, we have expert live chat support and a high-quality help center to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting. Get the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH. To start your very own Minecraft server the simple way and add a custom map to it. Nevertheless, the map is now downloaded. There was one more we were going to grab, and that's Floating Biomes here. And and the process is the same here. Scroll down and click download map and the map will begin downloading. Now let's go ahead and get these installed. One of the biggest things when it comes to getting a custom map is prepping it. You need to prep it to be able to be installed. So how do we do that? Well, we need to move them from our download folder to our desktop. And all these files will be like this. They'll be zipped files. We need to unzip them. To do that, right click on them, click extract all, and then click extract. We need to do this for all of them. So we'll go ahead and repeat it for Radiant City. Right click, extract all, and extract. And then one more time for the last map we have here. So right click and extract all and extract. We'll let these finish. And once they do, we can now continue prepping them. Yes, we're not done prepping them yet. What we can do now is do delete these from our desktop. So these right here, just delete them. Then we want to open each of these. When we open them, we're probably going to have a folder. What we want to do is keep clicking through these folders until we see this. Dim1, Dim-1, Region, Data Packs, anything like this. It's going to have something like this. It might have all these folders, but it should have some of them. Then once you've found these, you want to go ahead and click back and move this folder to the desktop. Let's go ahead and repeat this again for just a little crazy. Open this up. Open it again, and there are the folders we want. Dim1, Dim-1, Region, Stats. Again, might not be all of these, but will be probably some of them. Move this one to the desktop. And then last but not least, for Radiant City, we want to go ahead and open this up until we see this right here and move it to the desktop. Now we can delete all of these empty folders here, these two empty folders, right like so. And what we want to do is make sure as soon as we open all three of these folders, we see this. If we do, they are ready to be installed into Minecraft. So there we go. And then last but not least, Radiant City. Awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and get all of these installed. To do that, you actually just want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, don't play. Don't click play. Do not play Minecraft. What instead we want to do is go ahead and click on the installation tab at the top of the Minecraft launcher. So click on installations here. Then you want to find the version you're going to be playing. Uh, most likely it's going to be latest release, but this will work with modded versions as well. Go ahead and hover over this and click the folder icon. This will open up your Minecraft folder here. Then in your Minecraft folder, you'll have a saves folder. Now drag and drop any worlds that you want to install, any custom apps, anything like that, into this saves folder. Now before closing out of this, I would double check one more time. Make sure this is what you're seeing when you open up these folders, because if not, they won't work. So go ahead and make sure that is the case, which it is for us. Now you play Minecraft normally, so just go ahead and launch Minecraft using the version that you normally play with. So here we are in game. To see your maps, click single player, and there they are. Radiant City, Floating Biomes, and the Monster Hunter, also known as Just a Little Crazy. A bit weird there, isn't it? But if we go ahead and just open that map, it's going to go ahead and open it. Now, sometimes you might get a warning that the map is for an older version. Go ahead and play it anyway, because worst comes to worst, you can just re-download the map and go play it on an older version. But here we are in game with our map. We can click Start and get things going. Now, here's the deal. That's not the only map we installed. I'll go ahead and quickly show you the other other ones are installed as well. For example, Floating Biomes is working like a charm. Here we are. 
ready to start doing our parkour, which I suck at. And then we can go ahead and check out one last map, which is Rainian City. This is actually a really cool map because it's just a really big city that you can explore. It's got some abandoned areas. It's got a subway system. It's actually a really cool map and worth checking out. And uh, yeah, this is where we spawn in, which is uh, this beautiful sort of, I don't know what you would call it, this beautiful building with tons and tons. Is this uh, terracotta? I don't exactly know, but there you have it. That is how you can easily add maps and worlds to Minecraft 1.20.2. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.